Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. On this episode of Kim's Rude Awakenings. It's a whole lot of chaos. The chaos has turned this family's bedrooms into complete nightmares. Ah! Oh! It's your dust, you know! And getting the kids to change their ways is a long lost dream. You'll have me to reckon with. And I'm like a grizzly bear with hemorrhoids when I start. Domestic diplomats Kim Woodburn and Mike Shalou are on a serious mission. Their goal? To identify and confront messy and disorganized families and bring some sanity back into their lives and homes. Welcome to the Butlers. Melody is a stay-at-home mom. Dad Steve is an office manager. And they have two children, Shauna and Aiden. And Grandma Jean, she also lives with the family. Kim and Mike are on their way to teach this family the importance of a good night's sleep and how unrest in a house can lead to no rest at all. My husband and daughter and son don't pitch in. With me being at home all day, they think that this is my job <laughs> to do everything. But Grandma Jean's no slacker. Hers is the only clean room in the house. I look at their bed and I think, oh. All the other butler bedrooms are anything but relaxing. They're untidy, they're messy, and they're completely full of junk. And Shauna's lethargic attitude towards cleaning up means she sleeps on the couch. I just really get lazy and I never come around to do it all, so I just leave it. Yeah. Just leaving it is something that runs in the family. Steve's home improvement to-do list never gets done. Because Steve is roughing hockey teams all the time, we hardly ever see him. And he's not around to finish any jobs. <laughs> this house is a mess, but yet he don't do nothing. Say la vie. That's what I, that's what I think. But Grandma disagrees, especially when Mom and Dad have a sleepover every night with their eight-year-old son, because his bed has somehow become a garbage bin. How can a married couple, you know, da, 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 uh, with kids in the bed? <laughs> Mom can't hide behind the laughter anymore. She's decided to get the family organized and put all the bad sleeping habits to bed. She's called Kim and Mike to give her family a much-needed rude awakening. Good morning, Butler family. Kim and Mike here. We hear that no one's getting a good night's sleep. We're not surprised your sleep and arrangements are insane. Your mother's the only one that's doing anything. This is your rude awakening. Oh, come Let's on. Go. Here we go again. Come on, these yeah, stupid I'll families come in. Hello. Butlers. One more of us. It's about time. Oh, Just breeze out here, you know. Oh, my God. Have you seen the state of this, have you? Butler family, this is absolutely a disgrace. There's nothing to smile about. Steve, you are the man of the house. Yes, I am. On, on paper. Oh, don't give this no. stupid <laughs> babble. We're too old for this rubbish. Yeah. But obviously, you're not doing your fair share around here, either. There's a lot of unfinished projects in this house. Yeah, True? I, I, I'm good at starting, and I'm not so good at finishing. Ah, oh, there you go. Let's just go over the sleeping arrangements here. Please. Where do you sleep? On the couch. On the couch. Do you have a bed? Yeah, in the basement. Why don't you sleep in it? It's uh, always covered with clothes. Laziness. Now, where do you sleep again? I like my mom and dad. You're eight years old and you sleep with your mom and dad. I've heard of two or three, but eight, dear. <laughs> He'll be 18 before you pitch him out. <laughs> He'll be married. <laughs> no. It's totally wrong. I want to see the rest of this house. Come on, Kim. Butlers, this come way, on, please. Come on. Steve, what there's no floors. Th this is a work in progress. Oh, work How long in has it progress. been in progress? How many years? Mm, uh, months. Oh, shut months. up. Let's come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Watch out for Nanny. Make sure Nanny's OK. Up first, it's Aiden's room. It's full of his toys, just like every other room in the house. Aiden, I wouldn't like this room either. It's like there's a hurricane that went off in here. Are you responsible for this? Yeah. Do you see? Where's the bed? Where's the... Oh! There's oh, a mat. There's... there's a mattress there. You use your son's bedroom as a closet? Well, because our closet's broken. Who should be keeping your room tidy? Uh, me. 
Who should be fixing that? Oh, Dad. It should be fair to Aidan. You can't be surprised he sleeps with you. Where's the boy supposed to go? How can the boy use the bed when he can't even see the bed? <laughs> oh! It's your dust, you know! <laughs> This room. Go Come on, on Aiden, let's, let's go. You need to get some sleep. Up next, it's Mum and Dad's room. Well, Mum, Dad, and Aiden's room. This is the boudoir, is it? Cover that child's ears. Aiden, come here, please. Sorry, I have to do this. Kim has to talk to your mom and Keep dad. Keep those ears covered. Yes. <laughs> now listen to me. Horizontal jogging. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> when? The odd time. With him there? No. <laughs> Where does he go, dear? Sometimes if he falls asleep on the couch. It's not conducive to something. No. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Kim. Oh, Kim. Kim. I think bedroom. they get the point. Uncover them. OK. You all right, dear? You ready? Yeah? What are okay. you smiling at? <laughs> Shauna, I want to see your sleeping arrangements. Oh, boy. No one's sleeping in this house. It's a whole lot of chaos. The chaos continues downstairs in Shauna's room, a room she doesn't sleep in. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, dear oh. Lord, above me. You'd rather sleep on a sofa than sleep in a pretty pink room for the sake of two armfuls of clothes. I find that crackers. Why don't you move it? Lazy. Do you get a good night's sleep out there? Mm, not really. No one's getting any good sleeps in this house because these beds are a mess. Get out. Come on, cutie. Kim and Mike have seen enough. Messy bedrooms that aren't used for sleeping, unfinished projects, and lazy kids who leave their stuff all over the house have turned the butler's home into a disorganized nightmare. But before the family can get to work and sleep, Kim and Mike need to dream up their plan of attack. That daughter, come on. You know, she's 16. Well, I have seen her shower room, and I'm getting her down there, and I'm going to clean all that mildew off and show her how to do it. It's very unhygienic, and it's bad for your health, you know. The major issue in this family, though, are their sleeping arrangements. Please. They don't get a good night's sleep. Of course they don't. How can they continue with their day? You know, speaking about beds, I have not had a good night's sleep in such a long time. My oh, not a problem. Come and sleep at my place. Kim, listen to me. I'm not going to sleep with you. I'm famous, you know, and men ogle me. Pardon? Coming up. And when the cold gets to you and the spiders go down your throat overnight. Kim, Kim. It's another restless night for the butlers when they check into Kim and Mike's makeshift motel. Ah! Unfinished renos and bedrooms that are more like storage rooms have the butler family tossing and turning all night. These beds are a mess. Eight-year-old Aiden's room is such a mess, he still sleeps with mom and dad. He'll be 18 before you pitch him out. He'll be married. <laughs> After just one day, Kim and Mike have seen enough. Since the butlers don't mind sleeping in mass hysteria every night, Kim and Mike have come up with alternate sleeping arrangements to show the family how important a good night's sleep really is. I think this is the only way this family is going to realize that they have to appreciate their bedrooms. Get them in here. Right. Family, <laughs> butlers. It's time for a wake-up call that's all about going to sleep. Because you've got no regard for your beds. You don't care where you sleep. You can sleep in this garage for the night, dear. How'd you like those apples? Why do we have to sleep out here? To teach you a lesson, and when the cold gets to you and the spiders go down your throat overnight, Kim. you'll be glad to get your bed together, won't Kim. you? Kim! OK, file into bed, Find kids. Find your bed. It's going to be a very cold night tonight. You're getting no more bedding. Good night. Good night, kids. Being cold is the least of their worries tonight. Kim and Mike have a few more surprises to show the family just how valuable a peaceful sleeping environment really is. And as if the cold and damp aren't enough to spoil their sleep... After another restless night, Kim and Mike give the butlers one more wake-up call. Good morning, butler, butler family. family. What are you doing there? How did you wind up in between Mom and Dad again? Oh, I'm Told in you. Trouble. You are in trouble. Go back on your own Go side. Go on your side. Or was it nice and cold and, shall I say, noisy? It was hard. Was it? Yeah. It's cold, damp, and miserable. <laughs> Bottom line, family, your sleep is very, very important. And you have to value your bedrooms. That's your haven of rest. It's true. It's time to get your bedrooms in order. 
It's not too far of a stretch of how we've been sleeping in the past. So here's hoping uh, we can change that. Kim knows this family needs baby steps. She's starting with the reluctant Shauna in the downstairs bathroom. You've got a very tiny shower room, which most people have. If you have no windows here, that's your problem. You've got these. Do these work? No. There's no way the steam's going to go out. You're going to get all this grout messed up all the time with all the slime and scum. Now, let me show you. Pure bleach. I put gloves on. Now, be careful when you're using pure bleach. Keep your face away from it and use a soft toothbrush. Because if you use a stiff toothbrush, it'll spat in your face. Yeah. Look at the dirt. Ugh. Well, you're going to have to do this once a month if you don't get that vent fixed. You put that vent on as soon as you step in this and it takes all that steam out. And if it doesn't, my love, we're stuck with what I'm doing now. You'll see it instantly change. The brush and this pure cheap old bleach, don't buy a dear one. Look, look, already, this is immediate. Look at the difference in this side and this side. I'll leave this on about another half an hour. Then I'll come and rinse it off with water. Bob's your uncle, my dear, we are done. But it doesn't really like, bug me since I'm the only one in there and I'm only in there for like five minutes at a time. It looks like Shauna still needs some convincing. And according to Grandma, Dad needs a little kick in the pants too. He doesn't do nothing. I don't know whether I should say it or not. He might throw me out. Mike agrees with Grandma. So he's teaching Steve how to organize his schedule to help make sure all the unfinished projects get done. I need you to tell me what's going on this week. Refing, I bet Aiden's got hockey. Shauna's got ringette and probably some yard cleanup. There's a lot of unfinished projects in this house. Yes. And so where do you have all that stored? It's in the, I call it my vault. Just no scheduling, there's no planning outside of your head? Pretty much, yes. This is going to be your official Butler family calendar. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So use this calendar. Hopefully in turn help us be more organized and not be so stressed out with you know, how the house is. While Steve starts making plans to finish projects and organize his family, Kim helps mom keep her whites really white. Every two or three months, give your whites a real treat. We got your bath and I've run warm water. I'm putting in laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. Now, be generous, that's three. Yes. So I'm dropping the whites in. I'm going to leave this in here 48 hours. All the dirt you think you've got out, you haven't. Not in whites, you haven't. It's the it grits grey. Yeah. And it seeps to the top. Then whip it down to your washing machine, put it in. It is so... You'll see the white. You go, when you bring it out, it's a blue white. You go, good Lord. I thought they were clean. They're really clean. Now, my dear, the water's still in. Mm -hmm. Now, I pull out the plug and I take this rough towel and I go round this bath to catch the top bits. Oh. I go, and you're rubbing, yeah. but this powder's enough. Just run some water yeah. and swish with this, swish. Your bath is... Be I mean, you go... And then if you want to buff it with a duster, nice. if the guests are coming, it sparkles. Coming up... You're too lazy to tidy it up. Kim teaches Aiden a hard lesson by giving his toys some hard time. I am locking it, my darling. The butlers are a family whose messy house is messing with their sleep. And you have to value your bedrooms. Shauna isn't pulling her weight yet, and Aiden thinks the entire house is his playground. So Kim has a little surprise that will teach him to clean up his act. She's put his toys behind bars. I've not been near your bedroom. And that's what I picked up all over the house. Because you know why? You're too lazy to tidy it up, aren't you? That face will not win me over. This is going on here, my love. And I am locking it, my darling. Now, when you clean and organize your room, you can have these back. Let's go and see the pig's side of the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. What are you smiling for? This is not funny. This is appalling. Hundreds of books. Well, how many of those would you want to read again? I'd say, like, 20. You've got one tiny bookshelf. To be fair, he couldn't get all them on there anyway. No, if he tried, no. he hasn't got the shelving, has he? Now, look, this is for your dirty washing. But I think at your age, you should be able to put your washing in there, shouldn't you? At least Mum knows where it is. I've brought you a little bin. Always put a bag in the bin. With this, you just scoop it up, take it down, and replace it with another one. And do yourself a favour, keep several in the bottom here folded. It's quicker. Kim is challenging Aiden to clear out some of his mess. When he does, She'll let him get some of his favorite toys back from under lock and key. If you don't do it, 
Do you know where you're going to live for the next six months? Mm. In the dog kennel. Aiden is in the doghouse with Kim. And if Shauna doesn't start helping out more, Grandma thinks she'll be joining him. No, you haven't done too much. No, you haven't done too much. Shauna should do more than what she does. But she gets away with it, so she doesn't do nothing. Right? And despite threats, warnings, and tips, Mum is still the only one doing her share. Nobody helps out. They think that this is my job. I'm home all day. That's my duty, <laughs> to do everything. Believe it or not, that is Mum's mad face. But Kim and Mike aren't hey, so giddy. Hey, 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 you guys, what's going on here? Down here, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? What are you, what, what, what are you doing? Watching TV. Enough's enough. Let's go, Get family. Off Let's go. Before enough's I enough. Pick you up the bum. I can't believe you're doing this to your mother. I guess you could say I spoiled them. And now I realize the damage I've done. <laughs> Come on, family. Get line up. Here. Line up. Line up. Once the family dons their protective gear, it's Mum's chance to get a little revenge. Your mother is doing 95% oh, of the work in this house. You know it's true. It's, it's wrong. It's you wrong. Know. It's absolutely wrong. This has got to change. It's time we clean up your attitudes. We we'll leave that to you, shall we, Mummy? Okay. Last them. Because the family doesn't clean the house, Mom gets to clean the family. Clean up the attitudes. Spray them, honey. Spray them. Be brutal. Yes. <laughs> Look at Father hiding behind the children. Did you ever see more cowardice in your life? That's enough. It's a good way to vent it all and show them that I meant business. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. Good. I was probably long overdue, I think, maybe on Melody's part. Hopefully they'll learn their lesson. So far, Kim and Mike have taught the butlers that bedrooms are for sleeping, not storage. He hasn't got the shelving, has he? That you have to schedule your time. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that actually finishing odd jobs around the house will help keep the family organized. They know what they need to do. But will they be able to meet the final challenge? Family, listen. Your bedrooms have to be sorted. Yes. And Steve, you have to finish these jobs that are unfinished in your home. Like, it's a disgrace. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. You will do it. You'll have me to reckon with. And I'm like a grizzly bear with hemorrhoids when I start. Kim, Kim. Bottom line is, you need mummy and daddy time. The only way you're going to have mummy and daddy time is if you get out of the room. You need to have some friends over and have a little party, don't you, buddy? Well, you do your bedroom, and you bring a friend over, regular basis. You do your lovely room, bring your girlfriends over. Your mum and dad don't think would object. I haven't let them have slumber parties the way they used to. This is your final challenge. Now get back in that house. Kim, are you okay? You think they can get do it? Get in. I'm sick of looking at you. And you get in, you ugly devil. Come on, you get guys. In. I know you can do it. I don't know what to say. Well, I know. They're, they're bone flame and idol. Expect nothing, then you won't be upset, will you? Come on. That okay. You sure you want to keep that little thing? Kim and Mike are giving the butlers just 24 hours to get their house ready for a slumber party. Dad is finally doing his part, but Shauna, she's another story. What are you doing? On the computer. What about this stuff here? Ten minutes, I'll do it. You don't though. Yes, I will. You don't need to be on that. Coming up, it's Grandma Jean wisdom for Shauna. Did you clean the bathroom, Shauna? No. And will mom and dad finally get their bedroom back? <laughs> the butlers have been working all week to finally be able to get some solid shut eye. They've learned how important their bedrooms really are. That's your haven of rest, it's true. With just one day left before Kim and Mike return, it's mom who's still leading the cleaning charge. Aiden is also pitching in and even dad is on board. But is there enough time for Shauna to realize that she needs to help out too? Your mother tries hard because she's got a lot to do. You yeah, know? I know. And I feel bad because I can't help her. I just can't yeah, do you don't have to, hard work anymore. It's us that have to do it. I can't do much about it, can I? No. Leave it to Grandma Jean to finally get through to Shauna. My mom cleans the whole house. We don't really do anything. I just realized that. Yeah. So now, the entire family is on board. That's all. Thank you, God. And just like Kim promised, Aiden is getting his toys back. 
With some final touches still underway, Kim and Mike are en route to see if the butlers have finally got it all together. Mike, do you think they've sorted this bed situation out? Well, Kim, they have no choice. Their final challenge is a sleepover. As Kim and Mike roll in, so do friends and family. They're all eager to see if the house is ready for the long-awaited slumber party. But before that, a reminder of what used to be. It's the dreaded theater of shame. Father, family, and friends, welcome to the theater of shame. Here's the unfinished projects, disgusting floors for poor Granny. The stairs and floor went from an incomplete hazard to a beautifully finished entranceway for the home. Very nice. The floors are done. Yes. Now, whose disgusting room's this? Aiden. Hurricane Aiden. This is gross. Aiden's room went from being a massive storage bin to being a room he'll actually use and sleep in. New painting, new bedspread. Oh. Aiden, this is a young man's room. Oh, this. Oh, the love nest. Dear, dear. Oh, make you sick, wouldn't it? Mom and Dad's room is now a romantic oasis just for Mom and Dad. I think the magic's back in this room, that's for sure. <laughs> Here's Shauna's disgusting room. Shauna, 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 Shauna. Shauna, that's gross. How do you sleep in that? I know. And Shauna finally transformed the basement into a cool place where she can be happy to have her friends over. It's just lovely. Organized, structured, peaceful. Father, family, you've come a long way. I think it's time to party. I think you've earned it, haven't you? Yeah. Let's go. Wow, Aiden, I can't believe your room. Uh, yeah, like, I can invite a friend. We could both, like, sleep on the floor. I don't know where to go come bedtime and not to, uh, not to be sleeping with us anymore, for sure. Whoa, that was great. Oh, I can so see nice. the floor. I can see the we bed. We can sit on your bed now. Oh, I know. It's not dirty anymore. It's, I can sleep in my room now. Do you know, family, it's been smashing. What do you think of the house? Awesome. It's great. Great. Oh, so much better. They didn't need all that stuff. It's too bad they didn't get rid of it before, but they've done it now, so it's great. They all worked very hard, which was lovely. You're a smashing family. We're going to love and leave you to your party. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Now I feel that they understand what I was going through and they're going to help a lot more. I'm not embarrassed for people to come over anymore. So, yeah, I'll keep it up. If your bed's made, it makes a difference. That's the honest to God truth. Cheers. Cheers. The slumber party is a go. The kids have their friends over and now mom and dad can have some alone time. Steve and I will spend more time together as a couple now that Aiden has his own bedroom and I think we'll connect more. I'll, I'll make the most of that for sure. Hmm. <laughs> no more filming.